Now we'll talk about factoring the difference of two squares. And this is important because it shows up a lot, but it's also pretty easy. By the difference of two squares, we mean one thing squared minus another thing squared. And you see it again here. Here's one thing squared minus another thing squared. So it's the difference of two squares. In this case, an a squared and a b squared. And we have the difference between the two, or an x squared and a y squared and the difference between the two. Now the difference of two squares can always be factored like this. Notice the pattern here. a squared minus b squared will always be equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we've taken our original expression and broken it up into two factors. That same concept can be applied over here. x squared minus y squared will, will always be factored as x plus y times x minus y. Again, we have two factors. And if you switch the order, that's OK. If you, if you wrote it as x minus y times x plus y, that's fine. In both of these cases, we can check our work by doing a FOIL. So we'll do that real quick. Our first outer inner last. Well, the first is a times a. That's a squared. The outer is a times negative b. So I'll write that as minus ab. And the inner is b times a and that's positive, I'll write it as plus AB. And then the last two terms is B times negative B, so that's a minus B squared. And you can see that the minus AB and the plus AB are going to cancel each other out, leaving us with A squared minus B squared. So these, these two factors really do multiply to give us our original expression. The same thing will happen over here. If we do a FOIL, we get an x squared. Then we, from the outer, we have a minus xy. And then from the inner, we have a plus xy. And what we always end up with those two canceling out when we have this pattern. And then the, the last two terms here, the y and the minus y, multiply to give us a minus y squared. And then after those two middle terms have canceled out, we're just left with x squared minus y squared. So once again, the two factors multiply to give us our original expression. So there's just a couple of examples. Those two examples are really the same example, just done with different letters each time. If you wanted to state the concept in English, you could say that whenever you have one thing squared minus another thing squared, it will always factor as thing one plus thing two multiplied by thing one minus thing two.